Hey, welcome back guys to another tutorial here for Photoshop 101. Today, we're gonna show you how to have a camera with a train tun tunnel coming out of the lens. All right, so the first thing that we do once we have Photoshop open is we come over to Finder in the bottom left corner, and we are going to locate our folder with our images on it. Mine is on my desktop, and inside there are three different photos. One of a little child with a yellow jacket, one of train tracks, and one of a camera on a black surface. All right, first thing we wanna do is take that camera and drag it down into the PS, which is Photoshop. And we'll just drag it in and it will automatically open up in a new tab, perfect size dimensions, so we don't have to worry about anything. Okay, we hit the letter C on our keyboard. That's gonna bring up our crop tool and we're gonna click and drag down on the corner. And what we wanna do is we have our crosshairs on the top and we want to place our uh, the top of our lens right in between both of those. So right about there, go ahead and hit enter and boom, we are done. Next, we want to darken this portion. It's a little tight and we wanna darken it just a little bit. So we're gonna hit the plus button, create a new layer, hit B for brush. You'll notice down here in the bottom left that I have yellow and brown. Those are colors that I do not want. So I'm gonna hit D for default and I'll change it to black on top, white on the bottom. And I'm just gonna come here and just start painting black over the white. And you're gonna be like, ah, oh, that looks terrible. You're right, it does. But don't worry, we're gonna grab the opacity and we're gonna drop the opacity and make it look see-through. And so now all of a sudden, if we, if we get rid of that view, we can see that it goes from very light to dark. Okay, that's perfect. Next, we need to find our shape tool. Um, some of you might have your shape tool in a rectangle tool. So if you hit U on your keyboard, it'll bring it to your tools, your shapes, and we go down to the ellipse tool. You come in the middle, you click, hold down option and drag while holding shift, and it will create a perfect circle from the center. And we make it just big enough. Um, and we can hit enter and V for our move tool and put it right there over the glass of the lens. When we're done, go ahead and hit enter and click off the page. And there we have it. Next, what we need to do is bring in the train tracks. So I'm gonna click that and drag it straight down on top of my camera. Oh, I guess I actually have to click and drag it. All right, so there it is. And then what we want is we want to see the sky in the upper portion of that. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the opacity real quick so we can see both. And then we're gonna click and drag our train tracks and we can see part of the sky right here inside of our circle. Then we're gonna go ahead and bring the opacity back up to 100% and hit enter. Um, once we have our top layer selected, we can hold down command option and the letter G and what that does is that creates a layer clipping mask and it will clip it right inside of that circle. Okay, we're gonna position this over just a little bit. We're gonna use our right arrow keys and move it over. And I'm gonna hit Command J. Command J duplicates it and it moves it off of the page. Then what I'll do is come over here to my lasso tools and we're gonna go down to polygonal lasso tool. This allows us to create straight lines. So if I go ahead and Hit Command Plus and zoom in just a little bit. I can click here and it'll create a straight line and I will go up the train tracks, over and then back down just on the outside of the train track and then back over to the beginning. That creates a, a selection for us and then we come over and we create a layer mask. Now what that does is that gets rid of everything outside of that selection. And now it appears that that train track is coming out of our camera lens. Okay, that's looking good so far. Command zero goes back to full screen and then command minus just zooms out just a smidge. Okay, next we need to create a sunshine feel out of the middle of it. So what we're gonna do is create another layer and then we're gonna hit B for brush and come over and find a sunshine type, golden sunshine. 
Let's go a little bit more orange. Oh, there we go. I like that one. Okay, click OK. And then my brush is smaller than the circle. And I can go ahead and just press one time, press again. Then what we'll do is we'll come over here and click on this and go down to Overlay. And then we'll drop the opacity just a little bit. And perfect. Okay. Then what we're going to do is create another new layer. And we're going to make the brush size smaller. And we're going to come out here and we're just going to paint all along the train tracks. And then just outside the train tracks. And then even just a little bit there. Okay. And then what we're going to do with that is same thing. We're going to go down to overlay. And then we're going to drop the opacity. And that is going to make it look just like a soft golden sunlight feel. All right, there we go. And so there it is, golden. Now it's time to bring in the, the small child. So we're going to go back over to Finder. And we're going to click our small child and drag him down into Photoshop. Yes, I just assumed that it was a little boy. I don't really know. Okay, with that, we're going to hit Command Plus and zoom in. And we're going to use our magic wand, but the quick selection tool inside of our magic wand. Make our brush size bigger by hitting the right bracket. And we're going to select everything inside of, we're going to select all of the, the little kid. Make sure you get the hand, scroll down, back of the jacket, down the pant leg. And you notice that it's going to get the outside here. That's okay to leave that, um, but make sure you get the, the jacket. All right, that looks pretty good. So Command-C copies it, and then we'll go back over to here. Command-V, we'll paste it in there, and we will shrink this by holding down, um, holding down Option. All right, hit enter, click away, and then we can click and move that. Now we're going to create a shadow for our little guy. Uh, we're going to click on that layer, hit Command J, duplicates it, and then we'll go up to Edit, down to Transform, and over to Flip Horizontal. Oh, nope, excuse me, I did that wrong. We need to Flip Vertical. Uh, transform, Flip Vertical. There we go. All right, then I can click and match their feet up. Use if I need to, I can zoom in, get closer if needed. All right, there we go. Then we're gonna double click on this layer, go to color overlay, make it black if it's not already, and then click okay. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit, and then hold down shift and click and drag, and we're going to expand that shadow. Okay, go ahead and hit enter, click away from it, click back on the layer, and drop the opacity to make it look more see-through, just like a shadow would look. Okay, command zero, and command minus zooms it back out, and there we have it, a trained track coming out of the lens of a camera with a little kid and a shadow in a golden hour. All right, next, what we need to do is save it. We're going to go Command S, save it on our computer. I'm going to give it a new name here. Tunnel. So inside of my camera tunnel. Go ahead and click Save. And then we're going to export it. Hold down Command Option Shift W. Brings up Export As. We're going to export it as a JPEG. And inside my desktop, we'll click Camera Tunnel and Save. All right, so then we can go inside and take a look at that. There is our Camera Train Tunnel.